Hey there, it's Walt. I just finished a, uh, a day for busy entrepreneurs and business professionals on emotional wellness. It's one of my very favorite programs to do. And one of the things I always come away from these programs realizing is how very weary we are as a culture. You know, we're just inundated with information, information overload. The, you know, the greatest challenge I think of our age is not that we have too little, but that we have too much coming at us all of the time. Uh, too much information, too much to do. Uh, and that we're, we're always on and we're never off. And, you know, this, this technology that I so love, I, I love that the technology that we have allows us the freedom and flexibility that we enjoy as entrepreneurs and business professionals, that the technology that that I use has allowed me over the last couple of weeks to, to work and be on three continents uh, and to serve the clients I love to serve and to be with the people I love to be with. And at the same time, our technology that was once meant to free us has the capacity to enslave us. Uh, I saw a number this morning as I was getting ready for the program uh, that suggested that on average we check our smartphones 157 times a day and that 90% of us sleep with our cell phones. And so the, we're always in the mix, we're, we're never off. And it is critically important uh, for our peak performance, for our long-term success to be able to get off the grid, to turn off the technology. And so one of the things I invited our participants to do today was, of course, to think about working in block time. It's such a powerful way to approach one's day. You know, you have a block of time for your writing, a block of time for your emails, a block of time for returning phone calls, uh, a block of time for project management, uh, creating defined blocks during the day so that we're all, that we're not just ricocheting through the day because so many of us end up feeling like uh, a little silver ball in a pinball machine at the end of the day, just uh, ricocheting all day long before, between and among all of the demands that, uh, that come at us. So uh, learning to create some boundaries around our technology, our wonderful technology. One of the other uh, the things that I shared with the people today was this idea of at the end of the day, uh, creating a hard stop, uh, closing our computers, turning off our cell phones, so that we actually have refuge from the technology coming at us. Um, this suggestion isn't mine, it's from that wonderful book that Cal Newport uh, wrote last year called Deep Work. Uh, Newport suggests that, you know, with the rise of artificial intelligence, so much of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is really going to become um, obsolete because of the rise of artificial intelligence. Uh, but that our currency, our currency as human beings is our ability to focus uh, and to do deep work. And those of us who have the capacity to stay in the work and to do the work deeply and, and thoroughly and not always be skittering around uh, the shallows, as Newport suggests, um, that's going to be the real value, the real currency for entrepreneurs and professionals in the decades ahead. And so, you know, claiming for ourselves some island of refuge from uh, our technology so that we can rest and renew, uh, rejuvenate. Uh, it's axiomatic in athletics that, you know, you don't, you don't just keep on going all the time. You actually take some time to, to rest and renew. We don't run our beautiful cars uh, for 100,000 miles without uh, changing the oil or changing out the tires. And yet we treat ourselves so often as machines going 24-7, 365, always on, always at the net, always responding to emails and text messages and notifications and alerts. Um, and, and it's not sustainable over time. And so as I shared with um, the people today, I, I invite you to look at ways uh, that you can create some islands of refuge uh, away from this wonderful technology so that we uh, have the opportunity to rest and renew and rejuvenate and go back again uh, into the fray and to, 
to serve those people that we're meant to serve and do the big, uh, the big work that we're meant to do in the world. So uh, it's something, it's, you know, we teach what we most need to know. It's uh, uh, an ongoing project for me, and, and I invite you to think about how can you create those islands of refuge for yourself uh, each day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.